Now we've completed drawing and coloring our two images and we're ready to fold them. We need to cut each section. We're going to make them into individual strips and we're going to put one strip of one picture next to the others to a strip of from the second picture together. The way we fold it is we take our image and fold it in half and once it's folded in half we go ahead and fold it again and that will make four creases into the image. Now we need another fold but the paper is a little bit too thick especially with the color on it so we don't want to fold it again. What we'll do is we'll open it up and then we'll take the folds that are there and we'll fold them again um, alternating over turning it over each time we fold it and also when we fold it we're only folding a single layer of the paper we're not folding a whole um, we're not continuously folding a, a stack of the paper so um, because when it's too thick it doesn't create a nice um, nice fold it kind of like makes a, uh, a crease that is not too attractive in the paper so we're going to do that to both images again we fold it in half and then we fold it in half again but once we get to four layers of the paper, we go ahead and open it up and, and just fold each, each um, piece, each section in half again. Now it's very important to fold the paper the way that we did, where we folded it in half and then folded it into quarters and then opened it up and each section was folded again. This keeps the folds even. Each section is evenly spaced, evenly sized, and they're both going to be, they're going, both going to match up both pictures because what we need to do now is we need to cut each section we're going to make them into individual strips and we're going to put one strip of one picture next to the others to a strip of from the second picture together and then we're going to refold it again and so when we open it up the folds we reverse the folds back and forth we're going to see sections of one picture and then as we move the folds again we're going to see the sections of the second picture. So now we have to cut these folds into strips and put them onto our white paper. And um, so it's very important to make those folds, make them evenly spaced and the right size. So now I've shown you how to fold your images after they've been colored and get them ready for cutting and gluing onto the white, solid white paper.